see what I'm representing today. D Riverside. Shout out to Riverside. I learned a whole lot about the streets in Riverside. Learned a whole lot about everything in Riverside. Oh, I grew up on Belfort Street over there toward Hilltop. Shout out to the Hilltop guys, but I had guys everywhere, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of the guys used to be at my house. They was Hilltop, you know what I'm talking about? The Hilltop guys, shout out to K-Sad, shout out to Frank. But a lot of my other guys, they, you know what I'm saying? I had guys all over. I had best friends. Uh, big Chunk shot, Big Chunk Ronald Wilson. He stayed on furniture, so. You know what I'm saying? Uh, had a little Terrell over there on uh, Ralph Street. Shout out to my nigga Dre off Gage Street. So, Montello, B. Charles on uh, McKellar. So, and shout out to Holmes, who should stay on the vent. Shout out to my nigga Rick, Ricky Lope. Uh, not that Ricky Lope, but shout out to Rick. He don't want to talk about uh, Frank Street. So, me and him always, everybody think we cousins. We always say we cousins. Anyway. Real sad, man. <laughs> One of the most treacherous, dangerous neighborhoods I've ever stayed in. Uh, like I said, a lot of them guys used to be at my house every day. The orange bandana guys mostly used to be at my house every day. Uh, smoking weed, kicking it, talking shit. So, man, it was a lot of fighting over there. I got into a whole lot of fights over there. I'm t I, one fight in particular, I got into it with. I had punished these niggas. They was like some crack babies. Uh, shout out to them too. I ain't got no, no trouble with them. But they stayed up the street from me. They used to always hate on me. I always hate on me. So I smashed the nigga in front of his daddy one day. Beat his ass in front of his daddy. So, man, when nigga seen me again, his daddy had told him to stab me. So, my nigga had grabbed some nasty shit. I'm walking past their house. I had to walk past their house, walking to school and from school before I started going the other way. Only reason I went the other way is because me and this girl, we used to walk to school together. We were like best friends and shit. She stayed on Holland Street at the corner house. Uh, so we used to walk to school or whatever. And uh, one day I'm walking down the street. I see the nigga, I just beat his motherfucking ass. Beat him and his brother ass, I think, or something like this. So my nigga daddy tell me to get some nags and stab me. So. I'm like, damn, I take off running. I'm in like elementary, bro, like heading toward middle school or some shit. So I get to the house, showing the door, I'm like, what the fuck you running for? I'm like, my nigga had pulled some knives on me. I'm like, Sean Dawn said, my nigga did what? Sean Dawn said, man, don't you run from no bitch ass niggas? <laughs> Just like that. I'm like, my nigga had some knives. That bitch ass nigga ain't gonna stay up nothing. So, Sean grabbed the fat. He like, my nigga, nigga stab you, nigga in the ass shot. So she, you know, we walked back up there with the fat. You know what I'm saying? And, and it was gonna be what it was gonna be. So niggas didn't wanna, niggas didn't wanna come back outside. Them and the dad they didn't wanna come back outside. They talking shit through the door. You know what I'm saying? But Riverside was a real treacherous neighborhood. And Real treacherous. Like, I can tell you a story about two niggas I thought was cool with some of the guys. Like I said, the orange bandana guys or whatever. Or uh, the hilltop guys. My one nigga, I've seen him with them every day. I'm thinking they cool, but I know he he stay over there by car and he in a different gang or whatever. So I'm thinking they cool. I don't, I'm young. I don't understand how all the street shit just typically go. So they get the nigga to the hilltop one day. I don't know if they feel like he was playing both sides or what. They gave this nigga a punk and head deluxe. When I say the level of violence in real sad is so real, man, I seen nigga pick up a motherfucking bite, slam it on nigga motherfucking head. Like the level of violence in real sad South Memphis was so motherfucking.